Have you been surprised by the backlash that's been whipped up by your decision to do a deal to free Bo Bergdahl? And what do you think is motivating that? Um, in retrospect, do you think you could have done more to consult with Congress or announce the deal in a way that might have spared him and his family being caught up in the political crossfire? Um, Prime Minister, how do you respond to criticism that your decision to meet uh, Vladimir Putin and his meetings with other key European leaders are actually devaluing the punishment that was meted out to Russia um, by f throwing it out of the G8. And finally, should Qatar be um, deprived of the right to host the World Cup? And if so, is England willing to host it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm never surprised by controversies that are whipped up in Washington. Right? That, that's, uh, uh, that's par for the course. Um, but I'll repeat what I said two days ago. We have a basic principle. We do not leave anybody wearing the American uniform behind. Uh, we had a prisoner of war uh, whose health had deteriorated and we were deeply concerned about it, and we saw an opportunity and we seized it and I make no apologies for that. Um, we had discussed with Congress the possibility that something like this might occur. Uh, but uh, because of the nature of the folks that we were dealing with and uh, the fragile nature of uh, these negotiations, uh, we felt it was important to go ahead and uh, do what we did. Uh, and we're now uh, explaining to Congress the details of how uh, we moved forward. But uh, this basic principle uh, that we don't leave anybody behind, and this basic recognition that that often means prisoner exchanges with enemies uh, is not unique to my administration. It dates back to the beginning of our republic. Uh, and uh, with respect to how uh, we announced it, I think it was important for people to understand that uh, this is not some abstraction. This is not a political football. You have a couple of parents whose kid volunteered to fight in a distant land, who they hadn't seen in five years and weren't sure whether they'd ever see again. Uh, and as Commander-in-Chief of the United States Armed Forces, uh, I am responsible for those kids. And I get letters from parents who say, if you are in fact sending my child into war, make sure that that child is being taken care of. And I write too many letters to folks who unfortunately uh, don't see their children again uh, after fighting a war. Um, I make absolutely no apologies for making sure that we get back uh, a young man to his parents and that the American people understand that uh, this is somebody's child um, and that uh, we don't condition whether or not we make the effort to try to get them back.